So I recently just got out of jail two days ago. I was only in there for a few days to serve a court order. I had a strange experience while I was in there. It was just a county jail in South Utah. It's an old jail, privately owned and managed. The overall experience was like a one-star hotel with it being the only county jail. A lot of different criminals are sent there while waiting trials and even to serve time. There's quite a few suicides and murders that have happened at this facility. So I was in general population. The block I was in wasn't classified to anyone from small-time offenders to warrant detainees. Offenders and murderers were put into this block. Our block had 30 bunks and was completely full. On my fifth, on my fifth night there, I was finally getting over the anxiety of feeling confined, so I was able to go to sleep fairly easily. I woke up at around maybe 3 in the morning. At least I think I was awake. It felt like a dream state, but seemed so real. I saw a dark mist floating around the block. I was completely frozen. Everyone around me was asleep. I attempted to wake my bunkmate to make sure I wasn't just seeing things, but I had no luck. The dark mix then disappeared through the walls to the next block. Not even 10 seconds later, I saw an inmate walking in circles through the block. And it wasn't an inmate I recognized. I attempted to communicate with the figure I was seeing. I received no response. I was completely frozen and terrified. I stayed awake the rest of the time till breakfast. I didn't see the inmate that I saw walking through the block in the middle of the night. I've had many experiences seeing things like this that I don't really add up, but this one really got to me. One year in college, I lived in an apartment in town. It wasn't horribly old, but had definitely seen the landlord special. I moved in with two others. I don't know if I believe in pulling on myself or not, but I think about my time in that apartment a lot because I can't figure out what happened. There were a few minor things. For starters, I would typically keep my door closed. My bedroom was in the kitchen, and when I wasn't in it, I didn't want the smell of food lingering in my room. However, pretty much every time I went to open my bedroom door, I had a strange sensation that something or someone would be waiting for me on the other side of the door. Sounds weird. You don't have to believe me, but I know what I felt. Second, I started experiencing sleep paralysis. Never in my life had I had that happen. In fact, I thought it was unrelated until I later learned it could be linked. It was awful and honestly made me scared to go to bed. It happened a couple of times and it was always the same. I was laying in bed paralyzed and it felt like someone was slowly laying their entire body weight on me, pinning me down. And not like a small person, it felt like a grown man's size. There were honestly a lot of moments, but I only share one more. We smoked a lot in the apartment, but again, know what I know. My roommates and I were hanging in the living room. My couches were arranged oddly. The dining room and living room were connected with a large entryway. Beyond the dining room was the hallway with all the doors to the bedroom, and at the end of the hall was the kitchen. One love seat couch sat in the entryway. This is where I was laying. We were all just chatting when the urge to just overtook me to sit up, stare into the void, and say, I know you're there. Needless to say, I scared the crap out of my friends, and they disliked me for it, but they mostly disliked it because they also knew they weren't alone in that apartment. Anyway, what do you guys think? Paranormal or maybe I'm crazy? All I know is I've never experienced anything like that, and it was kind of indescribable. It felt so commonplace to not like the movies. I've shared multiple of my experiences here and how I thought some of them would be connected to the house I was living in when most of them happened versus something being attached to me. I moved back home two months ago after finishing my degree and things were quiet for a while until I started having weird dreams again. Namely, one vivid, one really vivid dream where it was me and all the females of my close family waking up during a stormy night. Everyone's hair was wet and the beds looked damp. Almost like it was raining inside the house, despite there being no windows close to the bed. We saw a few water footprints on the floor that led to an open window in the living room, where my grandmother would inform me that it was a white window curse, and we had to do the prayer that we apparently all knew to keep her away, except it didn't, I didn't know, which made my grandmother say I'd be cursed by her. After that, the rest of the dream was all about seeing a woman wearing a white dress with a creepy grin on her face looking around the house. Every time I would see her, she would be one step closer to me. Mind you, I usually dream of children in such scenarios. Hunters trying to scare me out of the house. Yesterday, we finished unpacking some boxes that I bought from the house. There was a little 
pig plushie from toy from Angry Bird that I got when I was living in that house. And that I felt like the activity would really escalate when I slept with it. We took it out of the box and washed it and I was pretty happy to see my plushie again. It took it I took it to my room but I didn't want to sleep with it. So I left it in the corner of my nightstand. I woke up at 3.02 a.m. feeling unbearably hot. It was 18 degrees Celsius with a windstorm going on outside. And sweating profusely and I left, I felt a thump at the bottom of the bed right below my feet. Almost like someone had slapped a mattress. I turned on the lights and the plushie was in bed with me, starting to become convinced that it was actually something attached to me.